Excuse me, sir. Could you spare some change? I need to wash my clothes for a very important job interview. I'm just trying to put a roof over my daughter's head. Yeah, right. You probably don't even have a daughter. Besides, look at you. No one would ever hire you. How much longer are we going to be living in the car? I really miss my bed. Things are a little hard right now, but I promise you, Dad is going to find a new job, and you're going to be back in your bed in no time. Okay, Daddy. Now oh, come on. Let's go. We're going to be late. Hey, Jim. I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if you heard anything. I'm sorry, but still no calls back. But I don't understand. I have a master's degree and a good resume. The job market just isn't what it used to be. But I'm not giving up. Come on. We'll come back later. Oh, oh, hold on, not too fast. Hello? Yes? This afternoon? Absolutely. Uh-huh. Well, he'll be there. <laughs> All right. You have an interview. <laughs> it's for a senior management position that they're looking to fill immediately. They want you there at 3 o'clock. That's the address. Don't be late. That's two hours from now. I don't think I'd make it. And I have my daughter. You know what? Um, why don't you just leave Ella with me and I'll take you to get some pizza or something, huh? And you just go. What are you waiting for, Dad? A go. Okay, okay. I'll be back. Thank you so much. Excuse me, sir. Could you spare some change? I need to wash my clothes for a very important job interview. I'm just trying to put a roof over my daughter's head. Yeah, right. You probably don't even have a daughter. Besides, look at you. No one would ever hire you. Baby, what are you doing here? We just got pizza. Why aren't you dressed? Don't you have to get ready for your interview? Yeah, well, there's no use. I didn't even have enough money to wash my clothes. And now there's probably not enough time. I can't go looking like this. What are you doing? Here, you just wear my suit. What? No, I, I can't let you do that. Please. I insist. Thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> but hurry up, because we're running out of time. I'll never forget this. Oh. Hi there, Mr. Amari. Hello, sir. Thank you for seeing me. It's a nice suit. You look sharp. Have a seat. 
mean, you know, I must say, I am very impressed by you. Thank you, sir. I never do this so quickly, but I'd like to offer you the position. What do you say? Oh my God. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. You have no idea. <clears throat> you have no idea how much this means to me. Hey. Welcome to the team. Oh, great. Chat, I would love for you to meet Mr. Amari. I just hired him as our new senior manager. He'll be your new boss. Oh. Well, it's nice to meet you. You don't understand this man. He is by far the most qualified candidate. You'll be reporting to Mr. Amari right away. In fact, would you like some coffee? That would be wonderful. Uh... Yes. <clears throat> I mean... Yes, sir. Right away. To go. I got the job. <laughs> Let's go celebrate. That's great. Want some pizza? We're home, sweetheart. We're finally home. Guys, I'm here with my dad, and we're gonna practice one last time before the talent show. Ready? Yeah. I done seen City Beck that ain't like this. I'm the man in Instagram, take my pig like this. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. I have to take this phone call, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, Galani. Don't tell me you're dancing in the talent show with your dad. <laughs> Are you really? Surprised. Everyone knows she doesn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. My dad, my friend, and we're actually vlogging together too. <laughs> wow. Any girl who vlogs with her dad is definitely a loser. <laughs> <laughs> no. My favorite YouTube channel, the LeBrant fam, the daughter Everly dances and vlogs with her dad Cole. And they're actually not losers, they're really cool. And I want a channel just like them. <laughs> you want to have a YouTube channel? And how are you ever going to get subscribers? Her only subscriber will be her dad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me call you back, okay? Look, he's coming now. Let's go. It's going to be fun watching you lose tonight. To Pink Velvet. See you later, loser. Hey, honey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Those girls were just making fun of me for not having friends. Hey, it's okay. You've got me, right? I'll always be your friend. How about if we practice again from the top? Yeah? I done seen City like It's fine, this. Dad. We're probably not even gonna win. Let's just go get this over with. Are you sure? There's so many people out there. No, don't worry. It's gonna go great. You ready? Yeah. I just need to use the bathroom real quick. Ah! I'm so nervous. There are so many people here. And I really hope that I don't... Look who it is. Wow! I'm surprised you didn't need to bring your dad in here with you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Nice camera. Let me see that. Stop! I can't believe you think anybody would ever watch your vlogs. No one cares about a loser and her dad. Stop it! Give me that! Let go! My camera! You broke it! 
Not like it matters. No one was gonna watch your dumb vlog anyway. I just saved you the embarrassment of having posted it. Oh, it's almost our time on stage. We should go. Let's go win this thing, ladies. Whoa, sweetheart, hey, are you okay? No, I don't want to do the dance anymore. Wait, where are you going? Hey, sweetheart, please stop for a second. What's going on? I should have never come here. Dancing with my dad? A YouTube channel? What was I thinking? I thought that was your whole dream. To be like the LeBrant family? No. Not anymore. We don't want to wear this stupid hoodie anymore. Oh, no. I I'm so sorry. That's all right. Oh, my gosh. You're Cole LeBrant. Yeah. Nice hoodie, by the way. Uh, is everything okay? Sorry, I just can't believe I'm meeting you. You don't understand. I watch all your family's vlogs. <laughs> okay, I just need a second. These girls keep calling me a loser because I don't have any friends. And because I want to start vlogging with my dad. First off, I love the vlog idea. Do that. And second, not having friends doesn't make you a loser. It doesn't? Of course not. You can be cool all by yourself. And besides, I'm pretty sure you have at least one friend. Your dad. And that's all that really matters. You're so right. I can't believe I almost left the talent show. And actually, honey, we're almost up. Well, I guess we better get going. Thank you, Cole. You're welcome. And make sure you vlog it. Oh, shoot. I forgot my camera broke. Well, why don't you try recording with my phone? No, Dad, that won't work. It's okay. Let's just go. Hey, you know what? Here's my camera. You can have it. Are you serious? Th that's too much. We can't take that. No, really. I insist. Take it. Thank you so much, Cole. I'll never forget this. You're welcome, and good luck. What an amazing performance by Big Bella! What an amazing night. I'm surprised you even showed up. Next up, we have... Melanie and Kersha. <gasps> oh, my apologies. Next up, we have... The Rodriguez fam! Dancing city, back the eight like this. I'm the man of Instagram, take a pic like this. Hold up, while I whip it like this. Kaylani and her dad continued to do the dance and impress the entire crowd. When they finished, the crowd goes wild and gives them a standing ovation. Based on the audience's reaction, there was no doubt who the winner of the talent show was. Kehlani picks up her camera and continues to vlog this unforgettable moment. Everyone was so excited. Well, mostly everyone at least. When Kehlani gets home, the first thing she does is edit the video and upload it onto YouTube. She posts it under her new family channel. Within a short time, the video ends up going viral. 
they end up gaining hundreds of thousands of subscribers from all over the world. Kehlani couldn't believe it. She continues vlogging for their family channel and doing even more dances with her dad. Their views and subscribers continue to explode. And then, a few months later, Kehlani happens to run into Pink Velvet. They just broke one million subscribers. That's insane. I've never met anyone with that many subs. I don't understand what's so special about her. Look, there she is. Let's go talk to them. All right, Rodriguez fam. See you in the next vlog. Hey, Kalani. I just wanted to say... Oh my gosh, Rodriguez fam! Hey, um, you're like our favorite YouTubers. Can we get a pic? Of course, yeah. This is awesome! Thank you! Thank you so much! I, I can't believe that just happened! Uh, sorry about that. So, you and your dad are, like, famous now. Um, well, I wouldn't say all that. Well, we were wondering if you ever want to dance with us. Yeah, imagine the Rodriguez fam does a collab with Pink Velvet. Our fans would go crazy. Really? Yeah, maybe you could even be our friend and we could all hang out together. <laughs> wow. Uh... That's okay. I already have the one friend I need. But thanks, though. She's the coolest girl I know. Yeah, seriously. Whatever, let's just go. She's my best friend. You mess with her, you mess with me. You mess with me, you mess with her. You mess with us, you mess with her. Total is 1487. This is $6.12. I said 1487. Thought I had more, let me see. This is all I have. And you'll have to put something back. You can take the mail out. Could you hurry up, please? I don't have all day, buddy. I'm really sorry. Daddy, is something wrong? No, sweetie, everything's okay. Total's now 12.86. You still don't have enough. Listen, you can take the cake out. Daddy, no! It's for Grandpa's birthday. He's been really sad. Next. Finally. Some people are just the worst. I know, right? Hey, sweetie. It's gonna be okay. But Grandpa has been so sad lately. And the cake would have made him so happy. Excuse me? I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I just saw what happened back there, and I thought that maybe I could help. So, please, take this. <laughs> wow, man. Um, thank you. But, but why are you doing this? You don't even know us. Well, I don't know what it's like to not have enough. You see, when I was a young boy, my mother and I were homeless and we barely had enough money to eat. We went to the grocery store and when my mom got to the cashier, 
She didn't have enough money to pay. We left the store empty-handed, not knowing how we were going to eat that night. But then, out of nowhere, an amazing man bought us some food. We didn't know how we would ever repay him. But he gave us this card and said the only thing we needed was to one day help someone else in need. So you see, I'll never forget that kind man. He thought he was just giving me food, but he gave me so much more than that. A life lesson I'll never forget. He made such a big difference in my life, and I'll probably never know it. Wow, man. That's a beautiful story. My grandpa's gonna be so happy. Here, you can take this. And just always remember to pay it forward and help someone else in need. I will. Thank you, mister. Hey, Dad. We got something for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dad. Happy birthday to you. This is lovely. My favorite cake. Grandpa, why are you crying? It's nothing, sweetie. I'm fine. Please, Dad. Just, just tell us what's wrong. It's just that I turned 76 years old today. And lately, I can't help but wonder, has my life had any purpose? Have I made any difference in this world? Please, Dad, don't talk like that. It's like, today is your birthday and we want to celebrate that. I'm sorry. Let's do that. But son, how could you afford to buy this cake? I know things have been hard. Just to be honest, I didn't have any money. But there was this man who, he bought everything for us. And the only thing he asked us to do in return was to do it for someone else in the future. He even gave us his card. He said that someone gave it to him when he was little. Is everything okay? Oh, it's nothing. I just realized that my life did make a difference. Now, who wants the first piece? Me. <laughs> uh, no, me. Uh, excuse me. Dad, I'm your child. I'm your grand. Only way you have a grandchild is because of me. Christmas trees. Get your Christmas trees! It's no use. We haven't sold a single tree. It just doesn't seem like there's any Christmas spirit this year. Don't give up, Dad. But it's already Christmas Eve. After tonight, all these trees will be worthless. Look! Excuse me. Have you gotten your Christmas tree yet? If not, I have some for sale. No, and I'm not buying one. It's been a horrible year. I mean, why would anyone even want to celebrate Christmas? It's 
See, I've been hearing that all day. Everyone's Christmas spirit is gone. It's okay, Dad. We'll figure something out. But I really needed to sell those trees. I didn't want to have to tell you. But I wasn't able to pay our rent this month. And to be honest, I don't even have enough money to buy us dinner tonight. This is gonna be the first Christmas that you don't even get a present. I feel like such a bad dad. Hey, I don't need any presents. Besides, don't you remember what mom always used to say? Christmas isn't about receiving. It's about giving. I remember. She used to give us such good advice. And I was so bad that she was here to tell us what to do. That's it! That's what we need to do. Since we can't sell the Christmas trees, why don't we just give them away? For free. What? No. How will giving away our trees help pay for our rent? Or put food on the table? Or even buy you a gift? I don't know. But it might help raise the Christmas spirit. Besides, you said it yourself. After tonight, these trees will be worth nothing. So what do we have to lose? Hey, Walter. Hey, Charlie. Is everything okay? Everything is fine, Mr. Frank. We just stopped by to see if you and Mrs. Frank had a Christmas tree. Well, no. It's been a really hard year for my wife and I, and didn't feel the Christmas spirit, you know? I definitely know. But I think I have something that just may lift your spirits. My daughter and I, we brought you a Christmas tree as a gift. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honey, Walter and his daughter brought us a Christmas tree. Oh, hey. Sorry I was cooking. That is so sweet of you, Walter. We almost didn't celebrate, because... <sighs> My wife, she... Hey. It's okay. Thank you very much. This means the world to us. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Okay. Here goes nothing. Hi, Cynthia. That's a nice sweater you need. Oh, thanks. It's for my daughter. Is there anything I can do for you two? We were just wondering if you've gotten a Christmas tree yet. No, I decided not to celebrate this year. I just don't have a reason to anymore. I just haven't had the Christmas spirit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but we brought you something that just might cheer you up. Your very own Christmas tree. Really? 
got this for me? This reminds me of my daughter. Never mind. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We only have one more tree to give away. Yeah, but who should we give it to? Um... What about her? But that's the lady that turned me down earlier. It's okay. I'm sure she needs it more than anybody. Okay. If you say so. Excuse me, miss. I already told you, I wasn't in the sphere to celebrate Christmas, let alone buy a tree. I know. I'm sorry. But I'm not here to try to sell you a tree. You are? Then what do you want? I want to give you one instead. As a gift. You're giving me, a complete stranger, a gift. But I don't understand, why would you do that? A wise person once told me, Christmas is not about receiving, it's about giving. Wow. I love that. I didn't expect this. I've, I've had a really hard time lately. I don't want to get into it, but I'll never forget this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Can I help you put it in the car? Sure, thank you. Well, we did it. We gave away all the trees. Don't you feel better now? What's wrong, Dad? I just feel bad. We don't have any food to eat. I don't know what to do. Mr. and Mrs. Frank, what are you two doing here? We wanted to bring this. It's a special dinner that my wife made just for you and, and Charlie. This means more than you realize. Thank you so much. No. Thank you. This has been a, a really hard year for us. You see, my wife has cancer, and she hasn't been doing too well. So we decided not to celebrate Christmas this year. But when you brought us that tree, you made us realize no matter what we're going through, we should always celebrate the times we have together. So you see, thank you for helping bring back our Christmas spirit. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Miss Frank. But I'm so happy that you guys decided to celebrate. Merry Christmas to the both of you. Merry 
<laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Here you go. <laughs> See, Dad? I told you everything was going to work out. You were right, honey. What's wrong? This is going to be the first year that you don't get anything for Christmas. I'm so sorry. Cynthia? I, I just wanted to stop by and, and give you this. It's a Christmas gift for Charlie. But I thought this was for your daughter. Well, it was. But what I didn't tell you was that I lost my daughter last year. This has been one of the hardest Christmas I've ever had. You see, ever since she was a little girl, I would knit her a sweater every Christmas. She would get so happy. And this year, even though she isn't here anymore, I couldn't get myself to break that tradition. I spent the whole day crying, thinking about her. But when you gave me that Christmas tree, it made me feel like I had my daughter with me again. So you see, I wanted to just stop by and Thank you for giving me my Christmas spirit back again. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Cynthia. I had no idea. It's okay. I don't talk about it much. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Well, this is for you. It's a Christmas present. Wow, this is so beautiful. See, I got a present after all. Now come on, let's see. I'm so excited. Everything is just working out so... Shoot. What's wrong? The rent. I wasn't able to pay it. <sighs> Today was the deadline. It's okay. I'm sure the landlord won't say anything on Christmas Eve. Come on, see. Hey, Walter. You have the rent money? No. I'm sorry, Hank. I just need a little more time. Your time is up. I need you to pack your things and go. Now. But it's Christmas Eve. Please. Don't do this. I need you out. Right now. Dad, is everything okay? No. We'll be a kick out of my apartment. I knew we shouldn't have given away all those Christmas trees. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Please don't lose your Christmas spirit. Something will work out. Honey, it's freezing. What's taking you so long? You. What are you doing here? I, I live here. You two know each other? Yeah. He's the guy I was telling you about. 
The one that gave us the Christmas tree. Him? Wow. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much you helped us. Helped you? What do you mean? You helped save our marriage. You see, this year has really taken a toll on our relationship. We've been so stressed out and fighting all the time. Things got so bad that we decided to get a divorce. When you saw me earlier, I was on my way home to sign our divorce papers. But when I brought home that Christmas tree that you gave me... It just brought back so many amazing memories we've had. We weren't going to celebrate Christmas this year. But because of you, we've changed our minds. We spent hours <laughs> reminiscing on special moments and just having a good time again. So much so that we called off the divorce. So you see, thank you for saving our marriage. <laughs> wow. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. You know what? Forget about the rent. Consider it paid in full. Really? Are you sure? Yes. Because a wise person once told me that Christmas isn't about receiving, it's about giving. So, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. I can't believe what just happened. <laughs> this is the Christmas miracle. We definitely have an angel watching out for us. I know. Your mom would be so proud of you. Hey, Darman fam, make sure to subscribe to my channels and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. What are you doing playing on my PS5? Hold on, there's only six people. Give me that. Mom, Sam, Mom. I told you, video games aren't for girls. Think you can get this new Wolfpack hoodie? That gamer girl? You can play with this while you wait here. I don't wanna play with Barbies. Why'd you kick this? Oh my god, Sniper Wolf?